So Chainsaw Man Part 2 of the manga comes out literally tomorrow. So let's talk about it. Okay, first of all, if you hear somebody mowing their lawn, uh, there's like a window, like five feet over there and someone's mowing the lawn. Um, <laughs> so I apologize if that's, you know, messing up the, with the background. I mean, I have a little bit of music in the background, so it shouldn't mess with it too much. But so this video, honestly, I just wanted to make my final video on Chainsaw Man Part 1, essentially. Um, not really, this video is not really going to be about Part 1, it's actually all going to be about Part 2. Um, but it's things from Part 1. Um, if you're new to the channel, basically, you know, every week, sometimes twice a week, I pretty much make Chainsaw, video, Chainsaw Man videos over and over and over. And it's all been about Part 1, and we've had like no Chainsaw Man content, so I just, I don't know, I've made tons of videos throughout the time. Um, but I just kind of wanted to make one last one um, before part two starts tomorrow. So I'm basically going to wrap it, wrap, wrap it, wrap, rapid fire these things off. So basically I just have a list of a handful of things that I want to see from that were set up in part one, uh, fleshed out in part two. So I'm just going to go ahead and go. Um, I'm not going to sit here and dive super deep on these um, and I'm not gonna sit here and explain everything honestly if I went through Chainsaw Man and I went through like every single page like trying to make a super detailed list this would be like an hour-long video and I'm not trying to do that these are just uh, a couple things that I, I literally just wrote this list and like 30 minutes or something like just things that I could think of off the top of my head um, to do this so this isn't gonna be an amazing video it's just for fun one last you know one for before part two anyways we're already two minutes of the video i'm wasting your time i'm sorry about that let's jump into it um so basically um the i want to see the gun devil becoming dingy's friend and the blood devil being the villain because in part one we know oh yeah by the way there's gonna be giant spoilers but of course i mean there would be title and thumbnail why would you click on it if you don't want it to be spoiled so basically these are the things that i want to see in part two so I think it would be amazing because like in part one the gun devil was the villain right and the blood devil was dingy's friend well i think this would be a really cool reversal if the gun devil gets reincarnated into a new host or whatever obviously it's not going to be aki but it's reincarnated into somebody else uh, who has the gun powers just like aki but he ends up teaming up with chainsaw man which would be super epic chainsaws and guns freaking awesome um but on top of that um the whole blood devil thing well we know power you know passed and she's gonna be re reincarnated into a new person but i think that would be really cool if that person is actually kind of evil and the next villain um might not be the main villain it could be who knows um i just think it would be really really cool because the whole setup with that is power said um in my next life i want you to find me and uh we want to i want you to become my friend again and it could be you know a similar like naruto and sasuke type deal where it's like it's all about chasing down this friend and make it you know not in like a corny way i'm not saying that i'm not saying that's gonna be straight copied from naruto i'm just using that as an example but i just thought that would be really really cool moving on uh the truth about denji's parents and their appearance in it uh you might be thinking well didn't they die like his mom died from a heart disease and the dad was you know dingy killed the dad right and i don't think that's true at all um i think that they both did die but just not in the ways that makima said i think she manipulated dingy and made him remember false um remembrance or whatever i think she did the same thing to uh angel's backstory so i actually don't believe that but i do believe that they are both dead because i know when dingy in the very beginning in the first chapter before he met makima when he had the flashback of his dad's death he had a flashback of his dad hanging himself so we know from dingy's memory he hanged himself from makima's dingy killed him and you could say well yeah but the traumatic experience probably messed with dingy's mind and he probably thought that he killed himself whatever 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 um the point being is also in chapter one during that same flashback when dingy meets pochita dingy mention mentions to pochita that uh that devils have the ability to take over dead people's bodies why would his dad we get a glimpse of his dad taking his life and then soon after that or around that time in the same chapter we uh dingy talks about how dead people can be taken over by 
you know, a devil, right? So it's like, I could see in part one, Denji having to battle his own parents, but they're at devil men. So I just thought that would be interesting. We'll have to see you later. Um, we'll have to see in part one. I mean, part two, sorry. Uh, next up is um, Denji parenting and Nayuta becoming Makima 2.0. Um, the reason I think this is because one, Denji, he's not a parent, you know, he's gonna suck and he's gonna fumble the ball a lot. Um, one of the things that I love about Chainsaw Man is that it's a true coming of age story and it mixes a good element of slice of life in between uh, the insanity that is Chainsaw Man. And I really think this would be really cool because it, it's in the slice of life element that Chainsaw Man has always had. I just feel like it would be cool to see Denji like yeah he's young but he's also kind of like a father like a young father and i'm gonna see him i want to see him like mess up and i want to see nayuta fall down the dark path and then he has to get her you know them back kind of like again like a naruto and sasuke situation where you know uh, sasuke will fall down to the dark side and we'll have to you know get him back or whatever i just think that would be really really cool um just Oh, obviously for storytelling wise, but then also for Denji, um, for him to grow because he's not going to instantly know how to take care of this nine year old girl or however old she is. He's not going to be the best parent, even in real life. Like when people, you know, become a parent for the first time, they make tons of mistakes, but it's because of those mistakes that they make that they learn off of them and they improve themselves and get better. And that's what I want to see from Denji moving forward. Also, oh, this is probably my... My, the best one this is the number one thing that i want to see and if fujimoto doesn't do it it's okay because it's not really going to mess with the story it's just a cool little um sprinkle thing to sprinkle in in the beginning i hope that tomorrow when i read part two it opens up with dingy taking down the coffee devil why do i think this is so important because it's not it's just funny, and that's the thing that I've always loved about Chainsaw Man, is that it's funny. And Makima, the, when she explains how devils work, uh, she explains that their power uh, comes from the fear, right? Well, she's, she explains that if, if you, like, nobody fears coffee, so if there was a coffee devil, it would be super weak. Well, the way that part one opens up is Denji fights the tomato devil. That's literally how part one opens up, is him fighting the tomato devil. It's like, who's scared of tomatoes? It's like, that's ridiculous. Why would there be a tomato devil? I feel like the same thing would be for coffee. It's like, who's scared of coffee? Like, people just drink coffee, right? I mean, I guess you could get scared of spilling hot coffee on you, but that's more of being scared of heat, not coffee, right? Like, nobody nobody sees some coffee beans and freaking has to go to therapy, you know what I mean? So it's just, so I just think that would be a hilarious way to open up, and it would be kind of a throwback to how uh, part one opened up, is Denshi taking out a devil that, why does it exist? Like, it's totally, like, it's just hilarious. Um... Making friends, making new friends, Denji making new friends. We know that um, part two most likely will take place in a school setting. I just think that that is opportunity for Fujimoto to come up with so many amazing characters. I mean, you just look at our main cast in part one with like Himeno, Kobeni, Beam, you know, like just everybody. Like I, I just love the cast of characters that we had in part one and I can't, uh, I can't wait to see what uh, Fujimoto introduces as the new cast in part two. All also, Kobeni, we gotta bring her back. Um, I can't remember the dude's name off the top of my head, but there was a dude during the puppet arc, I believe, who, um, he does go to high school, so Denji might be friends with him. Man, I wish I knew his name, but if you go back and you reread the puppet arc, uh, he fight. he's only Denji's age, and he fights Quan Chi. Quan Chi is the very first devil hunter ever, so she's up there with Kishibe, right? And this kid was able to go hands to hands with her and actually put up a good fight. So definitely want to see him, you know, back. Uh, Makima's friends. I actually made a video 
not that long ago about this, like literally a couple days ago, about Makima's friends. Uh, Makima, there's three friends in that video. I only talk about two because I forgot about the third one. But she talks about multiple different friends that she has that, yeah, I wonder if we're ever going to see. Um, in the beginning, she talks about how she knows a judge and that judge is the one who told her that dogs should get euthanized if they're useless. That's what she tells Denji and that's how D Denji is kind of forced into becoming a devil hunter. And I wonder if we're gonna, ever going to meet that judge. Also later on that she when she takes out Reze, she talks about how she actually has a friend out in the country that she likes to visit every fall, I think it was, um, to help just, you know, help out help out in uh, at the farm or whatever i wonder if we're ever gonna see that person and then the third person uh she's going to the yakuza she opened the bag of eyeballs and she basically explains to one of the leaders of the yakuza is that she actually has a friend who can actually restore all of her people back together um, all of those people back together so that they can implant those eyes back into them without them being harmed uh so we also got to meet them um another one is <laughs> I put uh, Dingy Simp, Dingy No Simp. <laughs> so we know in part one, Dingy is a giant simp. Honestly, I don't, in a sense, yes. But on the other side, he was like groomed. So I don't know if that classifies him as a simp technically, but I just know that the memes of Dingy as people call him a simp, right? And I think this uh, would be really cool development for Dingy if he's no longer a simp, right? where he's been screwed over by so many women in part one that he's gotten to the part point where it doesn't really matter. You know, he's kind of uh, numb to the idea of being like heartbroken and stuff like that, which is a very real thing that people can, can go through, right? And so I wonder if, um, you know, because also in part one, I believe there is a scene um, near the final battle, I believe, where Denji's watching TV and he gets down on his knees and he's like, like, I want to have like tons of sex, just a bunch of sex. And to me, it's like, oh, I feel like that's going to be part of this because, you know, originally Denji just wanted to touch some tits. Like that was a huge deal for him. But imagine him like to most people it's like oh just losing my virginity would be a big deal but then what if he meets a girl loses his virginity and stuff but then he wants to have sex with like seven other girls and so that girl no longer becomes that important to him which then would no longer make him a simp because then he's kind of like um like a like a uh like a player or something or like a I can't think of a word but basically like he basically like a fuck boy I guess I don't know if that's the right term for the yeah like I guess he would be yeah just smashing girls anyways I'm taking too long we're already almost like 13 minutes into the video okay so basically uh moving on is chainsaw's past I want to learn more about the chainsaw man not dingy well, Dingy's past would be cool. I mean, we've got a little bit of sprinkles on, in there of his past, but I want to know about the Chainsaw Man's past. Like, come on, we got to know it. Uh, honestly, Fujimoto might keep that till part three or four or five or part nine or something. I don't know. Maybe this could be the next JoJo's, so it could be part nine. Um, the Immortal Brothers. Almost everyone I know who reads Chainsaw Man forgets about them. Uh, there are three Immortal Brothers, and two of them were actually killed uh, throughout Chainsaw Man. However, one of them lived uh he was the um scaredy cat one i guess you could say he was in an alley and the person uh who fought quan chi uh kind of spared his life um so he's actually still around so i just want to see him show up and then the last one is the mystery of makima i know makima's not in the story anymore but we gotta know more about her how does she she's not the control devil i keep saying this again and again she is not the control devil she has so many powers that have nothing to do with control she can splatter people she can she can use the ears of small animals uh, every time she gets injured an illness or an accident happens to a civilian and due to that she actually heals so that's why if she gets shot in the head well then somebody down the street will get catch the flu or something or you know, they'll turn into some type of illness and then it'll repair her because that injury went to somebody else and it got formed into an illness or an accident and that's how uh does and, and also uh makima knows everything um before chainsaw man right um when she's talking to kishibe she talks about how anything that um anything that kishi uh, anything that chainsaw man eats gets wiped out. She explains to Kishibe about the Nazis. Kishibe doesn't know about the Nazis. Why? It's because Makimus explains 
you know, change some mind ate a Nazi, now Nazis no longer exist. However, Makima also states that she's the only one right now who actually knows the history be before that. Like, she knows what Nazis are. She knows everything. How does she know that? You know, so there's just so much to Makima. I mean, she could do so many powers. Just go through Chainsaw Man, dude. She she uses so many powers that aren't control. I don't know why she's labeled as Control Devil. Um, I don't know. Uh, but yeah, that's the end of the list. Honestly, I could have made it twice as long if I wanted to. If I wanted to sit down. I mean, this Kobini's Devil. What's Kobini's Devil? All that stuff. I don't know. There's so many freaking things that could be really, really cool throughout the series. But I don't want to linger on too long. This video ended up being a little longer than expected. We're at 15 minutes. I was trying to keep it at 10. Um, so I apologize for that. But yeah, dude, I'm so, so hyped for Chainsaw Man Part 2, man. I believe they're coming out on Tuesdays now. Correct me if I'm wrong. But I believe Chainsaw Man will be coming out every Tuesday, which is very odd. Um, I'm used to reading manga usually on Sunday, so it kind of messes with my schedule a little bit. But I'm still going to be making videos for you guys. I'm going to review, you know, the chapters every single week. And then every once in a while, I'll make extra videos like this um, to explain extra stuff that I just want to talk about in Chainsaw Man uh, in general. But yes, um, it's crazy to think that my next video about Chainsaw Man will be about part two. That's crazy. It feels forever ago they announced part two. Um, I'm so excited. I, I don't know. Chainsaw Man is my favorite manga. And it's crazy to think that like everyone's so hyped for part two. But if it's going to be like JoJo's Bizarre Adventure and we're going to have like nine parts. It's crazy to think that like we're not even close to what Fujimoto has in store for us. And I'm excited, you know, even if this is the last part, if part two is just the last, I'm totally fine with that, dude. I'm excited for what Fujimoto cooks up after Chainsaw Man. Then any, anything Fujimoto related, I'm hyped for. I'm ending the video right now. So yes, I am uh, gonna go to bed and wake up and read part two. Well, that's all I have for you guys today, but if you want to go check out my manga series, Katosai, there will be a link in the description where you can go read it right now. Also, don't forget to check out any of my playlists. If you missed any of my weekly Chainsaw Man videos or my bi-weekly SSR videos, which are my Sunday series recommendations where every other Sunday, I read the first chapter of a manga that I've never read before, and then I recommend it to you guys. Or my Manga Could Talk videos where every month I give you guys a life update on, well, pretty much my life and anything else anime and manga related that I didn't get a chance to talk about in other videos. But with that said, I'll see you guys in the next one.